Do you hear this? Let the wicked forsake his way. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Isaiah 55 and verse <coughs> 7. Let the wicked. That forsake. got everything under the sun. Everything. Let the wicked forsake his leave, way. Break off. Stop. That's right. Forsake his, his way. You see, we got ways that's not like God. Oh, yes. Is my right, I said? Oh, yes. Everybody that's walked this planet got ways that's not like God. God. But have you noticed? Every way under the sun that's opposite from God, they say it's a Christian. That's right. That's right. Hmm? <laughs> That's right. All these bigots that live in Boston? Mm. How in the I world are you going to look at me? Now, let me get raw with you. And I'm not going to say I'm sorry because I don't apologize for telling the truth. But if it get too hot, go out, get water, and bring your britches back. <laughs> That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian? Yeah. Get me. And call me a nigger. That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Hispanic brother a spick? That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Asian brother a chink? Amen. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Polish brother yeah. a Polak? That's right. That's right. God said he made man. That's it. The devil made niggers. That's right. The devil made crackers. That's right. And the devil made spicks. Amen. God made man. God made man. That's right. Are oh, you listen to what I'm talking? That's it. And you right. go to these old weak Bible toting scared so-called Christian churches. Amen. They have no fear to take your money. But they're scared to tell you what the Bible says. That's right. Listen, man, if you love me, tell me what's right. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Go Let's search your Bible. Go God ain't sent no prophet, no apostle. They'll go around preaching what these men preaching today. No. God got a miracle with your name on it. God ain't got nothing with none of your name on it. That's right. God ain't never told you he got a miracle with your name on it. No. Jesus say, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. He that don't believe it shall be damned. That's it. That damn mean you're going to hell. That's right. Huh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Let Boston. Amen. They say, that's why I don't like that man, because he don't preach with love. <laughs> See, I'm like the grandpa. You know, I'm not like the modern parents, you know, that send their children in the corner to my some time out. <laughs> Old Jimmy can kick his mother on the ankle and slap his father and say, no, shut up. And, and, and the parents just say, Jimmy, that's not nice. Not nice. You shouldn't say that, Jim. That's right. Let Jimmy go to grandpa's house and say that. <laughs> on, before he gets shut up out, he ain't going to get the up out. That's right. He just going to get sh fired. That's right. I'm, I'm like grandpa with the Bible. That's right. Thank God I take the belt of scripture and go around the world beating creation. That's right. Huh? That's right. You don't, you don't need me to pet you because you already go to churches that have made you sugar babies. Yeah. That's why you're spoiled and you look at me with Popeyes and shocked. And, Did he say this? Did he say that? Yes, I said it. That's right. That's right. If your preacher was so right, you wouldn't be so shocked at what I'm saying. Yeah. You mean to tell me all the dirt and trash and garbage in society and your preacher don't say nothing? Say nothing. But let the church say amen. God is love. Jesus is love. He died for me. He died for you. Hold the neighbor next to you. Say neighbor. Neighbor. It's your time. That's right. They have no message. No message. To get you right. That's right. Everything is watered down. Yeah. And the reason why it's watered down is to keep you happy and keep your wallet broke. That's right. I wouldn't care if you gave a million dollars a second. It's heaven or hell. Amen. That's it. That's it. Your money is not going to save you. No, no. Your position you have ain't going to save you. going to save you. I know millionaires and know them personally. Yeah. And hey, they tell me, Pastor Jenny, you, you really ain't impressed with nobody. I said, no. No. Sometimes they have bragged with me about what kind of furniture they got. They say, well, Pastor Jenny, you know, I got a, I remember I went to one house. 
And they had one of them Louis or something, Louis the 15th or Louis the, I don't, it was somebody from Louis. <laughs> and uh, I, I got ready to sit down and his wife was like, no, 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 please don't sit there, no. When she, she caught me, I was in this position. <laughs> She's like, I mean, I mean no harm, uh, Reverend Jennings, but no, no, that's, that's a Louis uh, for somebody imported from France. My Lord. It was good enough for Louis behind, it's good enough for mine. That's right. Where's Louis at now? That's Louis right. dead. He's dead. <laughs> huh? That's right. Come on back to Bible, Boston. Amen. Come on back and break up your wicked way. That's it. Stop your smoking. Stop your gambling. Stop your clubbing. Stop your partying. Stop your drinking. Stop living together. Not married. Stop having all these babies and you ain't married. Just stop this homosexual lifestyle. And you stop. go to church on Sunday and because your preacher said we accept the way you are because that's the love of Christ. That's a lie. That's a lie. Christ said, if any man be in Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is what kind? A new creature. What kind? A new creature. What's the result? All things are passed away. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Oh, God. Behold, all things. You can't walk with Christ still smoking weed? No. Can't walk with Christ and still got a six pack of beer. That's right. You can't walk with Christ and still clubbing. That's right. You can't walk with Christ and still gambling. Amen. You ain't no new Christian. You're still sinner. That's right. If any man I be don't care if it's your pastor. Yeah. Any time your pastor got the fellowship hall of the church rented out to the neighborhood and they having parties, parties. Christmas parties, Halloween parties, Easter parties, and you go to some church? Go ahead. It's a club. That's right. Give me That's Leviticus 10.10. Right. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Follow me in your Bible. Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. You know, the folks say, it don't take all that. It take everything that the Bible says. Everything. Follow me. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And what? And that ye may put difference. Did you hear this? Amen. God wants us to be different. That ye may put difference. You Christian cigarette suckers. Yeah. You that hang out with Jack and Daniels. Oh, yeah. Got a Bible in your house and a bar. And a bar. Huh? That's right. Friends, come over, you entertain them while we're ashtrays be in the house of God's people. That's right. Amen. Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the, in the world. world. Why would an ashtray be in the house mm. of God's people? That's right. Amen. Do you hear what Leviticus 10, 10 said? And that ye may put difference. Be the same. Put difference. No, be the same. And that ye may put difference. Put a difference between holy, between holy and unholy, and unholy, and between unclean and between unclean and clean. Where's your difference? Amen. Where's your difference? Christian woman, where's your difference? You still out here with hot pants on? That's right. Showing your backside and got something dropped down here showing your cleavage. That's right. Amen. Got your wall green and CVS hair. Amen. Where's your difference? Fingernails so long you can't even hardly eat. That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Where's your difference, brother? Amen. You out here switching like you raw hide. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Where, Amen. Where's your difference? Yeah. Where's your difference? My Lord. That's right. Where is it? Hmm? Where is your it? name is Billy, but you want to change it to Brenda. That's right. That's right. Any man coming here, ain't no man coming in first church. <laughs> ain't going to use the ladies' room. My Lord. No. My Lord. No, no. You can come in with a wig. All you want. All you want. That's right. You can have your size 12 and some pumps if you like. That's right. That bathroom says women only. Will you violate my rights? No, you violating the right that God gave you. That's right. Isn't it amazing how the government, they are fighting for this same sex yes, marriage. Yes, they will. They even said that it should be a curriculum in the elementary schools of America. Lord have mercy. You see how the devil is pushing this agenda? Amen. And these old churches, when they hear me preaching, they say, this man hate homosexuals. No, I don't. No. It's the deed that's God against. That's it. The individual God loves. God loves. But the deed. That's it. That's right. That's right. And you men done got sold. You're worse than a soggy piece of bread. Amen. Men ain't got no backbone. No. You bow to it because your son, your son come to you, dad. I, I'm getting married. 
You are? Congratulations, son. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let, me, let me meet her. Okay. He go outside. <laughs> son name is Johnny. Johnny bring in James. James. James come in. Oh. oh. Hello, hello, Mr. Parker. That's right. Now, today, a lot of them is from the hood. Yeah. They coming from the hood. Oh, yes. That's it. How you doing, Mr. Parker? I'm, I, I, I'm, your, I'm your son's man. That's right. And you know what, Mr. Parker, the father and the mother will be like? Well, if that's the life he choose, we will support it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with if you? If there's any parent that are watching or that that can't support that and say you're a Christian, you're a sinner. That's a sinner. And that ye may put different. If it's your father, he's of the devil. Amen. If he support it, your daddy is of the devil. That's right. You hear me, Boston? That's Thank right. God for if I got any parents here that justify your justify. child homosexuality and say you're a Christian, you're a liar. That's a lie. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you white as snow, black as night, yellow as a school bus, or clear as water. Amen. Amen. You're a liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's right. Do you hear this? And that ye may put different. Put a different. Between holy, holy and unholy. And unholy. And between unclean. Unclean. And clean. Amen. Put difference. That's why you young folk that got sons. And your son want to put on mommy's wig mommy's. and carry mommy pocketbook and put on mommy shoes. mommy's shoes. Don't you tell that child that's cute. That's right. That's ugly. That's right. Deprogram that child. Amen. The media is programming our children to hate God. Yeah. And we that believe in God, the Congress yes. and the media and the politicians yeah. are trying to make it seems as something is wrong with us. Right. Because we believe the Bible. There ain't nothing wrong with us. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. What's wrong is what's right with us. That's right. Go ahead. T.D. Jakes won't say nothing. No. Won't say nothing. They had him on an interview. Can homosexual and the church coexist? He said, well, certainly. Well, certainly they can so exist because uh, there, 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 there are some good, there are some good homosexuals, Christians. <laughs> That's right. That's right. There ain't no such thing. No such thing. As a homosexual Christian. No. There ain't no such thing. No, no. As abomination and Christ like and Christ -like. together. That's right. The Bible said you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. Same fountain. That's right. I come from the hood. Either you knew how to hold your hands mm -hmm. or you didn't know how to hold your hands. That's right. You knew how to body box or you didn't. That's right. From the hood, we didn't come out like this. Yeah. We came out. That's where we came out. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. That's right. Jesus Preacher. came Preacher. from the hood. From the hood. Who do you think Nazareth was? That's right. The Bible says, can anything clean come out of Nazareth? Out of Nazareth. Nazareth in modern terms was the ghetto. That's right. Jesus came turning over tables. Oh, yes. Beating them out of the synagogue. Either make the tree good. Did you hear this? In the book of St. Matthew 12 and verse 33. Either make the tree good. Either make the tree good. And its fruit good. And the fruit good. Or else make the tree corrupt. Or make the tree corrupt. And its fruit corrupt. And fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. Look at your church. Amen. Look at the praise dancers in your church. Yeah. Doing all that. Doing steps when they're up there supposed to be praising the God and mm. all that stuff. That's right. Look at the revivals around in your church. Yeah. A different liar each night. That's right. The preacher's buddies come. <laughs> Run a revival. Run a make revival. money. Yeah. They split it up with the liar. Oh, yeah. Look at the junk that go on in your church and you sit back like a pig in slop. Oh, yes. 
because you're so used to the slop, you don't say nothing. That's right. So what happened? That's right. You go along and get along. How can you say out of one mouth, well, I don't believe this, but yet you pay tithe and offering to support it. Yeah. If you support it, you're just as guilty as the one that do it. That's right. Break up your folly ground, Break Boston. Do you hear what the word of God says there? And that ye may go back to where you are, son. Back in St. Matthew chapter 12. We were in St. Matthew chapter 12. Come on. Jesus told us to break it up. Yes. Break up your wickedness. Yes. Go back to the foundation of the thing. Back in Isaiah 55. All right. And verse 7. Listen. Let the wicked forsake his way. Boston, are you willing to leave your way? Yeah. Are you willing to get upset and go back and drink a bud wild and say, man, that got crazy? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Call me whatever you like, Boston. Yeah. You know what me and you got in common? You're going to die one day. Oh, yes. But I'm, if I'm dying, I'm planning on meeting the Lord in peace. That's right. What about you, Boston? That's right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to keep jumping around, going to your man-made church because your father is the pastor. What kind of dumb reason is that? Yeah. Because your uncle is the pastor. Yeah. Because your husband is the pastor. Because your slap-happy grandpappy is the pastor. Amen. He started the first AME church in Boston. That's right. I wouldn't care if he started the Underground Railroad here. <laughs> That's right. You got to do it like the Bible say, or his whole train is going to hell. Wherefore, come out from among them. Come out. Come out from among them. Do you hear the Bible talking? In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. This is the last days we're living in. Oh, yes. You can look at society war. It's going on around the world. That's right. The Ukrainians are being slaughtered. Yeah. But they're not the first ones that's being slaughtered. No. People were being slaughtered for years. That's right. Every time war break out somewhere, mm -hmm. that people who are victimized by the villains, mm -hmm. you get citizens, normal citizens, yeah. who rise up yeah. and call themselves the resistance. That's right. Whether well, it's in Ukraine, you got the resistance. That's right. When uh, Germany invade Great Britain back in the 40s, you had British resistance. That's right. When they invaded France, you had the French resistance. Mm -hmm. Now the church is the resistance. That's right. We had war with Satan. We had war. You know the resistance would come out, bomb bridges. Yeah. To cut off the enemy Supply. Oh, yeah. Our job is to bomb false religion. That's right. So they're not able to supply the people with any more lies. That's right. I'm part of the resistance. That's right. That's why I go from place to place bombing religion. That's right. Bombing cities with Bible. With the Bible. Bombing so bad until even the FBI looking at us. Resist the devil. FBI even got some agents to come in to mingle in with the church. Yeah. A man got so mad at us one day we had our old headquarters on Frankfort Avenue. He seen the man left a message and said, I'm calling the FBI. Mm -hmm. And he called him. Amen. And uh, the FBI said, oh, we already, we already know about that Geno Jennings. We got eye on him already. <laughs> already got eye on him. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's all right. FBI had some agents come down to Frankfort Avenue and stayed a few years. Yeah made themselves mingle in real good. Yeah, in fact, I know two of them even got baptized. Mm. Thought they could fool me, you know. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Thank God, but when they saw that we was not deterred, I wouldn't care Biden himself said on the engine at the end of this stage, if That's Biden right. don't repent he of his repent. sins, yeah. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost and obey God. That's it. By ain't going to be another president in the lake of fire. That's right. Hollering and burning long as God remain God. That's right. Huh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Are you ready to leave your way, Boston? Amen. Uh -huh. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts. Look at the way you think. Look at the way you think, unrighteous. Look yeah. at you. You lie, swear, you party. Yeah. You was partying last night, Friday night, just sitting at the bar talking about you're going to come to church today. <laughs> Telling your buddies, hey, yo, man, I'm going to see that Gino Jennings cat. That cat you told me about? Yeah. But, man, we got a party tonight. I'm not going, man. I'll, pick, I'll see you maybe f Sunday, though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yourself, brother and sister. Oh, yeah. You in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And you doing the same thing you've been doing as a teenager. Yeah. 
When are you going to stop being a fool? Being a fool. You drink and then the moment something gets wrong with your liver, now you want Jesus to fix it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You smoke, now you get cancer. What do you want? Jesus to fix it. Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Out there like a fool, the moment you get COVID, you get religious. Amen. Huh? That's right. Rush into the hospital, laying on the bed, right then. Husband, old wicked husband, cuss his wife out, come in drunk, slap her around, cuss her out. Good woman. Good woman. Now he get COVID on the on the, got the ventilator. <laughs> Mabel. <laughs> and Mabel looking at him, just saying, you old devil, you. <laughs> Eh? That's right. He laying at Mabel. Sing me some of them songs. Eh? Mabel hold the hand of her old wicked husband. <laughs> Rub his hand and start singing. Amen. Jesus is the light, light of the way. Word forever in my soul. Right then. Right then. He want to hear everything from him. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel, call, call Father Cunningham. That's right. Father Cunningham come in <laughs> with a basin of smoke like he get ready to prepare you for bacon. <laughs> Walk around you, talking Latin. la 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 sa ta ba ba ta ba Rero, kadal rero, kadal la sa pa ta da Alabasa Optimus Prime Star Scream. <laughs> Alabasa Megatron. Blah, blah, blah. You don't know. We don't know what he said. That's right. <laughs> you That's don't know right. what he said. Amen. My God, man, the man trying to make a transformer out of you. <laughs> and the moment he started to feel better. Yeah. Wife Mabel come back a few days later. He sit up in bed. Oh yeah. Oh, honey, you up? Yeah, Mabel, I'm up. You got a cigarette? That's right. That's right. You got a cigarette? Amen. You see, you was all humble when you thought you was about to die and go to hell. Yeah. Like I say to the world, if you still living after COVID done hit creation, God is just lengthening your days to give you time to get right with him. That's right. That's all. That's all. God is not done yet. Oh, no. He's not done yet. No. Something else is going to hit America, America that will make COVID look like a walk in the park. My Lord. God is not done. That's right. My Lord. He know how to bring you to your knees. Oh, yeah. Hard head, stiff neck, rebellious, following after man-made religion, That's right. cussing God day and night. That's right. That's right. God is not done. Amen. Boston, you're going to remember, hallelujah. hallelujah. You're going to remember there's a God that rules heaven and earth. That's right. Yeah. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let Boston forsake his way. Forsake his way. And the unrighteous man. And the unrighteous man is stop. Then let him return unto the Lord. Let him do what? Return unto the Lord. And then in order for you to return, you had to leave him. That's right. Amen. And there are many of you that used to walk with God, you're backslid Excellent. now. Some woman came and when you saw her hips, she ushered you right out of church. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Some man came in, you smelt his perfume, it led you right out of church. That's right. Some man came in, offered you some money, made a fool out of you, dragged you right out of church. Yeah. Some woman came in, offered you some leg, dragged you right out of church. That's right. Yeah. Let him return. Come on back. Unto the Lord. Let him return. Come on back. Thank you. That's it. Come on back now. Let him return unto the Lord. You better come back to the Lord, sinner. And Look he, at you. Yeah. I don't care how tough you think you are. Oh, yeah. I'm a man. You ain't nothing but a piece of dust. That's it. That's all you are. That's all you are. You ever seen bubble on water? The only thing that make that bubble form on water, air. That's it. When the air go, bubble go. That's, That's the way right. you are. That's right. Just look at your body as a place like you rent an apartment. Yeah. Your lease is up. You got to move. Got to move. That's right. The breath that is in your body. Just there for a while. Oh, yes. Won't be for long when God snatch it. You done. That's it. Amen. You ain't got long, Boston. That's it. Hmm? Do what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Are you ready to stop being a fool, Boston, old Massachusetts? That's right. I'm going to say you pronounce it wrong. I meant to say it that way. I meant to say it. Boston, Massachusetts. That's right. Because you in a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. Amen. Oh, you in a mess. You in out mess. here just drinking and 
gambling and smoking and partying than many of you watching me indulging in child trafficking. Mm. Trafficking children on a black market. That's right. And many of you preachers get paid because they use your church as a place to stop the traffic children through them because you love money. Love you money. turn your back. Give me Bible where they turn to me the back and yes, not, the not the face. You turn your back on God. That's what the Bible said, the love of money. That's I remember it. I preached against child trafficking one day and a man wrote me a letter. He said, when I heard you, I started crying. Mm. He said, I'm about 82 years old and all my years on the earth, I have never heard no preacher even mention child trafficking and mm. no broadcast. Every form of sin under the son that's against God it is our obligation to that's speak right. against it that's right do you hear what it says Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 33 Jeremiah chapter 32 and the 33rd verse and they have turned unto me the back they have turned to me the back and not the face God complaining that's it you grown hell bound men you ought to be sent to, to hell be. that's right that you are child traffic parents and little children and put them in crates yeah like a crate full of potatoes and cabbages. That's right. No air, That's no right. ventilation. Yeah. Leave them in there for days. Oh yeah. Ship them to a port. Yeah. And then when they open up the crate, Amen. bodies are laying there dead. Don't care. Don't care. Throw them in the water and feed them to fish or feed them to untamed animals. That's right. This is the type of society we're living in. That's right. These no good mega preachers that's robbing you out your money. They don't care about God. They care about your money. Amen. Amen. God ain't never sent no man to focus on your money. No. Amen. God sent a man to focus on your soul to get on God's side and come off the streets of America acting like a fool. And they have turned unto me the back. What 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 the preachers done? And they have turned unto me the back. What the church goers done? They have turned unto me the back. Oh, they turned their back on God years ago. That's right. Creflo Dollar did it. T.D. Jakes did it. Uh, Hey man, Benny Hen, Ben Dunner, Joel Austin, he do it with a smile on his face. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey man, they've turned the back to God. They, when you turn your back on God, you get an attitude get that an attitude. you really don't care what the Bible says. And they have turned unto me the back. And what? And not the face. God wanted your face. What you mean? He wants you to face him. That's it. That's it. That's what God wants. He wants you to face him. That's it. What do you mean? Approach him. Approach him. Pursue him. That's it. Drop off everything else and go after him. That's right. Not them. We ain't got no bunch of gods to go after. We go after one. That's it. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? And they have turned unto me the back. Hey, 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 you that are here. Amen. Have you turned your back on God? That's it. Ask yourself. That's it. Have you turned your back on God? Is that why you're in the club now? Mm. Have you turned your back on God, woman? That you want to be a pole dancer and you love that pole and you love that money and you love flaunting your half naked self and a bunch of perverted men. That's right. Who put a little cheap dollar down on your thumb because that's all they think you're worth. That's it. Amen. Go ahead, man. What? They have turned unto me the back. They have turned the back. And not the face. Is that you? Mm. Beautiful. My Lord, my Lord. Is that you, fella? Have you turned your back on God? That's it. That you drive around at night picking up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That's right. Have you turned your back on God, parents? Father, that you have sodomized your son. That's right. And raped your own daughter. The nakedness of thy son's daughter. He said, you turn what? They have turned unto me the back. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. You multi-millionaires that got merchandise on the market. Right. Have you turned your back on God so much until you're willing to ignore the fact that you got folks overseas working? Sewing in sweatshops at right. gunpoint. That's right. Just to make mass production Preacher of your brother. clothing line. That's right. Do you love money that much that you'll have a five and six and seven and eight year old child oh, yeah. at gunpoint, gunpoint making your merchandise? Amen. Amen. You see what makes this program so different? Yes, Lord. Uh, the Holy Ghost said, cry loud. That's right. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cry loud. That's it. Huh? Thank God, and we're not scared to cry loud. That's right. What is that? They have turned unto me the back and not the face. Beautiful. Amen. You hallelujah. old weak politicians. Go ahead, man. All this child trafficking taking place in America? Go ahead. Black market for children? That's right. 
That's right. You old drug dealer talking about some black lives matter. Black lives don't matter to you if you selling drugs to your own community. Amen. You's a black life liar. That's right. That's right. How in the world you gonna be marching in a black life demonstration and your whole community has got your drugs? That's right. You selling drugs to a family. Mother yeah. just been buried from your product. Yeah. Sons are buried from your product. Yeah. You walk around right by Preach shooting. It. Hey, now you want to participate and Preach Black it. Lives Matter. You's a liar. That's right. Preach it, brother. Hallelujah. They have turned unto me the bag. What? They have turned unto me the bag. That goes for any hypocrite. Preach black it, Lives Matter here. Go ahead, man. There ain't no black life matter to you and you out here gang banging. Amen. Black life matter and you raping a black woman. That's right. Go ahead. Now. Preach it, brother. Beautiful. Preach it. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Are you getting what I'm telling you? They have turned unto me the back. You turned your back on God. And not the face. Amen. They are opportunists. Oh, yes. That's what they are. Oh, yes. They don't really believe nothing. They're nothing but opportunists. That's right. But glory to God when that day come, when the great Jehovah. Hallelujah. Uh, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When God himself. Oh, yes. Son of Abraham. Yeah. God that made the mountain tremble. That's right. In the days of Moses. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you see him standing in the heavens. Oh, yes. And you're running through alleys and running, running. neighborhoods and falling down steps trying to get your pants on. While well, you got your needle in your arm looking up and there's no illusion. That's it's right. really God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's no illusion. That's right. Hallelujah. It's really God. It's really him. That God you cuss. That God you make mockery, mockery, mockery of. Yeah. That God that Congress passed bills and try to belittle his law. Reach it, brother. You pass bills to blaspheme God's law. Go ahead. You pass bills to constitute hate for God's law. Go ahead. When God comes, he come. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God Hallelujah. you're going to remember. Oh, yes. Go to your church now. You go to church. Oh, yes. Go to any church that you choose. That's right. But when the Lord comes, he comes. And that stuff is not lined up with the Bible. Yeah. Hell. Hallelujah. Hell. That's right. Hell! That's right. Eh? Amen. Thank God, I don't care how, who, who you think you are in the guise of God, you're less than nothing. Less than nothing. I mean, I meet men and women think they all that. They all that. They something. They something. And I'm here to tell you, you're less than nothing. All nations before him. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. I want to show you your net worth. <laughs> That's right. Show you your value. You that thank you so much. That's right. Amen. Thank you, God's gift to women. And thank that because men fall out on you, flies fall out on dung. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. I wouldn't care if you walk the streets until your appearance mm -hmm. change all the traffic lights in your city. That's right. The moment you come out on your porch, all the traffic lights turn green. Yeah. And when you come out, all hummingbirds and bees and scorpions and insects stand <laughs> on your steps and form an insecticide choir. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Amen. And the crickets start cricking and the bees start bees. <laughs> That's right. And the moment they stop their selection, when you step down on your first step, Preach all the it. flowers open up. Amen. And all you hear is, ah, 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 ah. And a bird just fly by and just say, hallelujah. Poor right. <laughs> God. That's right. You get what I'm talking. Amen. You don't walk around and thank you all that. I show you what you are. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. That goes for you rich Democrats and you rich Republicans. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. All right. All nations before him. All nations before God. Are as nothing. Are as nothing. And they are counted to him. And they are counted in the eyes of God. Less than less nothing. Less than nothing. And vanity. You can't get no lower than that. No lower than that. We would say you're nothing. That's right. God said, I can do better. <laughs> That's right. God said, I can do better than you not being nothing. Less than nothing. You're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Only God can come up with that. That's right. We wouldn't even think, we wouldn't even think that far. No. We are less than nothing. Less than nothing. So you that are out here living together, not married, drinking and smoking and gambling, and just going to church on Sunday as a camouflage, hmm. you know, just to get over your guilt. <laughs> That's right. 